What's up, Foundation? Man, what's up, YouTube, man? It's me, man, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. Man, I'm back, y'all. I'm back. I'm back on a sad occasion. I'm back, I'm back, I'm, I'm, I'm back on a sad occasion, man. Um, as I'm quite sure many, many of y'all out there already know by now, man. Um, we lost we lost a homie the other day, man. We lost uh the homie pretty boy, man, from Rolling Sixties, man. OG in the game. OG in the game, man. Um that's a perfect example, man, of a of a homie gone too soon, you know? Homie gone too soon, man. Um he uh the homie passed from natural causes, you know what I'm saying? And the only silver lining in this is that it was natural causes and not gun violence, not gang violence. You know what I'm saying? Um, got too much of that going on, man. Man, the homie, look, uh, the homie, when he was at Fat Dog's funeral, he was talking to a lot of homies. He talked to a lot of my homeboys, and he talked to a lot of other Crips from different areas. And um, he wanted to push this peace thing throughout L.A. He really wanted to push it, y'all. Um. He was he was he was in the process of getting a hall, getting a big building, and having sets from all over California come, invited, to sit down, talk about what's going on, talk about what's wrong, talk about ending the senseless crip on crip violence, man. We've been having man for decades on decades on decades on decades, man. Pretty boy was pushing that, man. He's pushing that. And now just cause the homie gone, you know, don't mean it's gonna stop, man. Um, you know, wherever he wherever he landed at, man, you know, I want him to know that he, you know, he started something that we ain't gonna just let go away, you know. We ain't gonna just let it go away, man. You know what I'm saying? We working on that east side as well as they working on that west side, man. Um you know, uh, my set on the east side, y'all know who we don't get along with. And um, we, you know what I'm saying, it's been a lot of, you know, been a lot of conversations lately. And uh, we in the process of ending that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we as blacks in L.A., man, we ain't got, if we keep going at the rate we going, man, we ain't got 10 years left. We ain't got 10 years left. Not, not, not just Crips, Bloods, or whatever, but just all of us. You know? Man, we've been doing this thing for many, many moons, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It come a time when, you know, things got to change. I tell you all the time, the only thing that remains the same is change. Now, it's time for L.A. to change, man. It's time for the, 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 the gang outlook to change. Not saying that gangs just going to go away because they not. But the things that we do, our ideologies, our thought patterns, the so-called beefs and wars. You know, uh, when is it time, man? When is it time to say enough? And see, that's what Pretty Boy was on. He, he was, he, he stepped up and he said enough, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he had that much love in his heart for what we represent. You know, he, he, he was willing to be the forefront, the forerunner on saying enough, man. When is enough enough? Well, what's, well, what's been going on in L.A., man? Since the 60s, it's enough, man. It's enough. And um, I feel it, man. You know what I'm saying? I I have, me personally, a lot of people, you know, they say, well, these persons don't get along with these persons, these persons. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that. L.A. is like that. You know, I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm stubborn. I'm hard-headed. If I didn't like your set, I didn't like your set. And it was like that. It was like from the cradle to the grave with me. I was that tight. But man, look, when we, we get a certain age, man, and get a certain time, when we finally wake up and realize, hey, man, enough is enough. You know, and that's 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 what's happened with me. Enough is enough, man. We in the process of sitting down with a lot of sets on the east side, man, to end the foolishness and the violence that we've been perpetrating on each other, man, for many, many years. And that's one of the things we can accredit to Pretty Boy 
that, you know what I'm saying? He planted that seed, man. And it's on us to water it and make sure it grows big and strong into a giant tree. The tree that we had, man, the tree that Raymond Washington established for us from the beginning, that crib tree, man. Forget all these different branches, but the crib tree. That's what Pretty Boy want to take it back to, man. And um, you got a lot of people in L.A., man, picking it up, pick, picking up his dream and running with it, man. Running with it. Me being one, you know? Me being one. A lot of other people, man. Man, uh, he goes some footage, man. Just a little footage, man. Just to, you know, dedicated to the homie, man. Just to remember the homie by, you know? Yeah, man, that's old. That was that was old, pretty boy, man. We didn't lost a whole lot, y'all. Man, we didn't lost a whole lot, man. We didn't lost a lot of homies, man. To the foolishness that still goes on today. It's time to end it, y'all. It's time to end it, man. It's time for all of us that didn't get along, that didn't like each other, that had petty beefs, petty grievances, all that, man. You know, the homies that we done lost over the years, they can't come back. They can't come back. They can't come back, y'all. But now we can do what we need to do to make sure we don't lose no more. And can't nobody do it but us. We the only ones can do it, man. Can't nobody do it but us. You know, I asked myself when I first got into this YouTube stuff, you know, I talk to God all the time. And I talk, I said, God, um, you know what you got planned for me, man? You know, he dropped this YouTube thing in my, in my, in my lap, you know. What you got, what, you know, what is it you want me to do? What is it you want me to do? And he revealing himself to me. He say, hey, man, help my people. Help your people. You know what I'm saying? My people, black people. You know what I'm saying? But he got to start at a certain thing. And I'm knowing for a fact, you know, I got to get, I got to get, I got to get us. I got to help. I can't do it by myself. But I can put my three cents in and help, you know? Get the CRIPs together. And from there, we move on to get others together, other and more. Our black people, man. It's a grassroots movement going on in LA, y'all. That are from different states. Y'all better watch us. Y'all better watch us. And when I'm saying watch us, watch how we transform. Watch how we try to change this thing, man. Ain't no such thing as we can't do it because we can. Man, shout out to OG Pretty Boy, man. When I was younger, I used to hear his name all the time. When, you know, me and Monster used to talk. And, you know, we, you know, when me and Monster was young, we was in Y together. We used to talk. I'd tell him about my enemies. He'd tell me about his. And, you know what I'm saying? And one name he would always mention was Pretty Boys. He would always mention Pretty Boy. You know what I'm saying? So that let me know that, you know, he was a worthy opponent. But when he got older and he put all that foolishness to the side, he became a worthy crip and a worthy friend, you know? That's real. Hmm. Man, 
Rest in peace, pretty boy, man. Rest in peace, homie. We ain't gonna let your dream die, Holmes. We ain't gonna let it die, man. Peace, man. I'm out.